Welcome back, nail crew. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna do a nice mashup of these four pastel, beautiful colors. The set is going to be so bomb, y'all, so bomb. Now before we get into that, let's give a hey, girl, hey to my nail sister, Karen. Karen watched the premiere with me, y'all, and then went back and watched it again. Thank you, Karen. That's the kind of support I need. <laughs> that's the kind of support that's going to help me grow. So thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. Let's get into the video. So her nails were already prepped. And I did a very detailed prep video on her nails in this video right here. So I will leave the link to this video. You guys can watch a very detailed prep on how I prepped her actual nails. So the same way that I did it in that video, I did it today. So now I am about to add the nail tips and you saw me add primer. The reason why I'm adding primer before I add her tips today is because she has a newborn. She also has a, how old is she? Three-year-old, four-year-old. And then she has a son that's about 10. So she has a lot of kids. <laughs> That means she's always moving her hand. She's always into something. So when you have people like that who may be more prone to lifting, I like to add a little bit of primer before I add the nail tips. So her nail tips today are added on with base coat. I always do base coat for the nail tips. So this is nothing new for you old people. <laughs> but for the new people, you're like, what is she doing? I honestly feel like in a couple years, no one's going to use glue for tips. Like I feel like... Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, using glue, that is like so lame. <laughs> That's how I feel now. Like, I feel so bougie. Like, no, I'm not putting glue. <laughs> I really feel like the glue just breaks down over time. I did a whole video talking about it, so I'm not going to go into it again. But the base coat definitely holds longer. It's definitely stronger. You won't have any lifting. And yeah, if you haven't tried it yet, just do it, do it, do it. Just give it a try. Look, I sang a jingle for you. Just give it a try. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, the puddle lamp that I'm using, I am doing a flash cure. So after I put the gel nails onto the actual nail plate, I use my puddle lamp and I do a flash cure. And that's just about 10 seconds. So basically just long enough to get you to the next finger. But once all five fingers have the nail tips on, stick it in the large lamp and do a full 60 seconds cure so now she's fresh out of the oven you guys she did a little bake 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 she's fresh out of the oven so now i am adding her second coat of primer because remember the first coat i added that just where the tip went just under the nail tip well now i'm adding primer to the rest of the nail once that dries i go in with my base coat the base coat that i'm using today is from the gel bottle ink now to be honest you guys this base coat is really really good however it's also very expensive i think for this bottle with shipping and handling everything like that it comes up to like 24 25 dollars which i know is outlandish there are many other dupes i may lee has a builder base you can find that on Amazon for like seven, eight dollars. It works just as well. There's many other companies that have really good Cody. Cody uh, rubber base is awesome. Who else? Sparkling Co. Sparkling Co. has a really good base coat that's nice and thick. So anyway, long story short, don't feel like you have to go out and buy the particular base coat that I'm using today. It is awesome, but the price, oh my gosh, it's crazy. All right, so I added the base coat as you guys saw. And then she cured her nails in the lamp for a full 60 seconds, right? After she popped her nails out of the oven, I am adding the clear acrylic. So you guys, if you're old, yes, you get it. Been there, done that, right? If you're new, you're like, oh my gosh. So just pick your jaw up off the floor, just scoop it up. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine. Trust me, I do this all the time. Nails last forever, especially if you have a problem lifter or if you have someone that has to do like dishes a lot or hair, if they're a hairdresser or if they're a housekeeper, anything like that where their hands are always wet or always in chemicals, try to add base coat before your acrylic. And yeah, I'm telling you, it's going to make a world of difference. If you're in nail school right now and you ask your teacher that, she's probably going to think you're crazy and you're probably going to fail. So don't ask your nail school instructor that. <laughs> 
here's the theory of why a lot of people may feel like the base coat under acrylic is not a good idea. I think the theory comes from um, gel is not porous. So meaning that there's no little tiny holes in it when it's cured. Once it's cured, it's solid. Like chemicals are not breaking it down. But that's the reason why I use it before my acrylic that is the exact reason however with that same thought in mind one might argue that because it's not porous how is the acrylic going to attach how is the acrylic going to stay on without lifting if the gel isn't porous enough for it to get into the little grooves and stick so I understand where someone might be on team gel before acrylic and where someone might not be team gel before acrylic. But listen to me, it works. It works. I don't care what one theorizes. I don't care about that. I'm talking about practical application and it works. That's all I can say. So my nails stay on for eight weeks sometimes, which is horrible. You should never leave your nails on for eight weeks without a fail, but sometimes I'm busy. But I just say that to say it's not supposed to work in theory, but it works in application. So long story short, if you are having lifting, if you have clients that are just problem lifters and you just did everything right, you prepped right, you're using all the right products, everything like that, and you're still still having lifting, try to do base coat and then do your acrylic on top. Another thing I want to point out, because you guys always ask me, no, 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 no. I do not wipe off the sticky inhibition layer before I do the acrylic. So I do the base coat, I cure it. And as soon as I take it out the lamp, I do the acrylic right on top. Okay, so do not wipe off the sticky inhibition layer. In fact, I feel like that sticky inhibition layer attracts the next layer of product and it helps it to stick there. All right, you guys, let's move on. I have talked about <laughs> the base coat long enough. Let's move on. Oh, I know what I want to talk about next. Peep the ring on her finger. Peep that ring, peep that ring, peep that ring. Now, when you watch this video, when you go back and watch this video to see how I prepped, she did not have this ring on, y'all. <laughs> this is a new ring. So you already know what time it is. Write in the comment section, congratulations, 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 congratulations. I find any moment to break out into song. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> I think in my past life, I was a jingle maker. <laughs> I really feel like I was a jingle maker in my past life. All right, you guys. So let's focus on the nails. I know I always get off on these tangents, but let's focus on the nails. So I am using these four colors and they're all gorgeous. She picked them all out herself. I am so proud of her. Listen, first of all, congrats again. Second of all, I am so proud of her. She was like, Nikki, this is what I want these are the colors I want and she came ready sis was ready she even knew the length of nails she wanted okay like I said she just had a newborn so obviously she wasn't gonna do long dagger stilettos <laughs> so she had to do something nice and cute and short and when she told me the design she wanted I was like oh my gosh like quickly it was thinking in my mind what can I do with these colors in case the design she wants doesn't work? Because the nails are so short and I don't know, it's just kind of hard to do nail art on really short nails for me. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys are great at it. But for me, if I have like a long nail, that's a lot of space to really work with. <laughs> you know, you had a large canvas. So small nails. Oh my gosh. I was just so worried and panicky. But when I did the pinky, I was like, okay, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Like, that's why I started the first swirl on the pinky because I was like, let me just do it on the smallest nail first. <laughs> if it doesn't work out over here, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if I can get it on the pinky, then the other nails are going to be golden. So basically what she wanted was like a marble swirl type nail, but to make it almost look like alcohol inks. So... 
<laughs> she wanted it done with acrylic, but in my mind, I was like, look, if this doesn't work out, like if the nails are too small and I just cannot get it to go, I was going to do white acrylic and pull out my alcohol inks from my car and get to blotching. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Luckily though, it is working out. So what I'm doing to make this look more like the tie dye or the alcohol inks is I'm using very small wet beads, just like you would in a typical swirl nail, but I'm layering them. Because if you notice, whenever you do alcohol inks, the second color is always layered a little bit on the first color and then so on and so forth. Like it looks like layers of a swirl, not just a swirl. So that was the trick today for me like that was very tricky because again the nails were so small so it was oh my gosh it was yeah so yeah it was a little challenging but oh my gosh when it started to come together I was so excited and the brush that I am using is a size 14 it's the cat's brush from Amazon I should have used a smaller brush I could see where a smaller brush would have definitely uh, helped me out. <laughs> but I don't know. I like this brush now. Like, I'm not going to call it my favorite, but I like it. And it got the job done for me. So now I just have the thumb left, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, for real. The first nail came out good. Then I was like, boom, boom, pow. Got the ring finger. Okay. The thumb should be no problem because it's so much larger. So, yeah, I feel good. So after I'm done swirling the nail I'm just going to do a quick encapsulation and I'm going to file and listen a little treat you guys I'm leaving the filing in like I'm gonna try to leave all the filing in today because that's something that I don't do often and a lot of you guys ask me about filing so I'm gonna leave all the filing in as a little treat <laughs> oh my gosh you gotta really love nails <laughs> you have to really love nails to feel like watching someone file them is a treat <laughs> but it's a treat damn it <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it in so you're welcome all right so like I said I'm just going to finish up the thumb and then encapsulate but I want to remind you guys of my giveaway my giveaway is open until next month so I have had five giveaways so far this year. This giveaway that's open now is my sixth giveaway this year. So you guys make sure you enter because I am picking three people. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, shame on you. Wah. Shame, shame, shame. For everybody else, you know what? Good luck to you. Go back and enter a second time. <laughs> All right. What else do I want to tell you? Oh, yes. My nails. Okay. My nails look like crap, you guys, and I just don't know what to do with my nails yet. So I put this poll up in the community tab, okay? So if you guys did not vote, go to the community tab, please, and vote. What do you guys want to see me do with my nails next? I don't know. I don't know. I really want to play with poly gel, especially since I did the Oh Hoo Hoo Beauty poly gel. Oh my God, did you guys see that? All those glitter, What? Oh my gosh. Okay, go back and watch that video because it's also tied to the giveaway. So I don't know if I want to do the Ohuhu Beauty poly gel with all those gorgeous glitters or if I want to do a gel video from the Pato. I have not done my nails with gel in so long. I really feel like I need a full set of gel nails. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I've been thinking about that lately. So yeah, should I do gel with plasma gel from the Pato? Or should I bust out my iGel Beauty Diamond Collection? I really want to use that too. Oh my God. Especially that glitter, the blue glitter. You guys, if you did not watch me swatch the iGel Beauty Diamond Collection, what is wrong with you? Well, that means you're not subscribed. So hold on. Take a minute, everybody. Maybe YouTube, you know, took away your subscription for some reason. YouTube does that. So just take this minute. You know, let's take a moment of silence. Make sure the subscribe button is clicked and also make sure that you hit the thumbs up. And then while you're there, <laughs> just go ahead and hit that bell. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys. So like I was saying, help me pick out my next nail set, okay? All of those three are like calling my name. All of them calling my name. So that's why I'm walking around with nubs still. I'm still walking around with nubs. And I have to do my nails quick because ever since my nails have been off, I have done about four 
sets of braids. And I feel like, you know, when my nails are on, I don't get this many requests to do hair. <laughs> It just doesn't happen. But as soon as my nails are off, now everybody needs a set of braids. So I need to hurry up and do my nails. <laughs> so I need to do my nails and I need to do them quick. So you guys head over to the poll and vote, vote, vote. Yeah, and then we shall see. We'll just see the winner. What else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, I have an acrylic class and I have a poly gel class. So thank you guys for everybody that took a class already. Emily, shout out to you because Emily took two classes. <laughs> thank you, Emily. Um, but yes, everyone that signed up for an old class or has signed up for my new classes, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And the dates keep changing. So if you look on a website and the date doesn't work for you, just look back again in a week or two and there might be a new date all right so the acrylic has been applied and like i promised here is the filing here is the treat to all my nail lovers we're going to file we're going to just watch me file because it's so interesting <laughs> No, seriously, you guys do have questions on filing. And this, l listen, honestly, honestly, filing was the hardest thing for me to get. I don't know why. Like laying the acrylic, the gel, the poly gel, I'm not going to say that I'm a protege and it came naturally. I'm not going to do it like that because y'all struggle bus over here. But I will tell you that laying the product came a lot quicker for me than filing. That is the truth. And that is so like, we like what? Yes, you guys, I was able to do my bead consistency with the acrylic. I was able to slay and lay the poly gel and the gel was just so easy. Oh my, and dips, come on. Everybody knows how to do dips. So all of that was so easy to me, but filing, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Not only did it take me like four hours just to file, but even after those four hours, they still did not look good. Like they, they just didn't look like everybody else nails I was watching on YouTube and Instagram. I'm scrolling, 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 and their nails is looking crisp, pointy, sharp oval if they wanted a little almond it was just looking good ballerina ish and mine's was just not <laughs> i can laugh now but y'all i was so sad so anyway long story short i just wanted to leave my filing in for you guys because i know how it is so the first tip the first tip that i would say if you guys are having a problem filing is start with a crisp a nice, crisp, brand new hand file. And you want to start with something coarse, okay? Not a 180. Now, I know when you in nail school, it's like 180 is like the holy grail of nail files. I get it. It's because you're new and they don't want you to mess nobody up. Okay, that's the truth. But when you're really trying to get a nice, shape in a nail 180 you're going to be doing a lot of work with that hand so i like to use honestly i like to use a 100 grit or or an 80 grit okay now an 80 grit is very very coarse and i do not recommend it if you're a beginner um about a 100 grit if you're comfortable i think that's a really good hand file to start with so you want to start with a nice coarse crisp hand file and you have to make sure you file the nails in different directions okay so you saw how i was filing with her hands down and then i flipped her hands up so that i could look at it in a different direction and correct what needs to be corrected because of course it's going to look good in the hand down position of course, you did the nails in that position and now you're filing in that position. Obviously, you don't see what you're doing wrong, obviously, right? But if you flip the hands in a different direction and look at it from the client's perspective, then you could see what she'll be looking at for the next two weeks. And if there's something that needs to be fixed, you could go ahead and fix it at that point. So once I'm done with the hand file, I like to go in with my e file, and now I am just using a very fine, fine drill bit, and I'm just smoothing over the top of the nail. So the reason why I'm using a fine drill bit is because I didn't have a lot of work to do, okay? If your nails are relatively smooth, then I think a fine drill bit will be perfect. 
If you need, you know, like if there's a little lump going on or if it's not even, if there is a little correction that you need to do, then you might want to reach for your medium drill bit, okay? So just have your fine drill bit and your medium drill bit very close by so that when you have to start the filing process, you can just grab whichever one you need, okay? And by the end of the set, you should already know which drill bit you're going to need, like While I'm doing the nails, by the time I'm encapsulating, I know for a fact if I need to grab my medium drill bit (laughs) or my fine drill bit, you know, so I like to think about where my drill bits are. And I know I talked about this before with you guys, but just make sure that you're using your time wisely, especially if it's taking you more than two hours to do a set. It could be that you're mismanaging your time. So whenever your client's in the lamp curing their nails, that's a good 60 seconds to two minutes that you can be cleaning up or prepping for the next step in the process. So use your time wisely while you're working on whatever you're doing. Think about the next thing and, you know, put your mind on where the items are. So if you have to go grab it, you could grab it. I don't know. That's some of the things that I've done and I've implemented And I'm telling you, I could do a whole set of nails in like an hour and a half now. I really can. And that's from start to finish. But prior to that, you guys, it was four hour team over here. (laughs) It was team four hours. (laughs) Doing my nails was an all day event. Doing my, a fill took me just as long as a full set, sometimes even longer. You believe that? Can you believe that nail crew? I was that slow. (laughs) So anyway, just work on, you know, managing your time better. And I'm telling you, you'll drop, you'll drop that time. You'll drop that time. You'll go from five hours to three, from three to two, from two to one and a half, baby. And I'm comfortable at one and a half. If I could drop to like a full hour, if I could get to 45 minutes, Yo, (laughs) you guys can't tell me nothing. If I could do a whole set in 45 minutes and it looks good and lasts, you guys can't tell me nothing. And that's facts. That's why Mary had a little lamb. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing if I could do a set in 45 minutes. (laughs) But right now, I'm hanging out at about an hour and a half to two hours every now and then. And you know what? I'm okay with that. (laughs) I'll take it. I will take it. All right. So if you guys noticed, I filed her nails. And even though I was using a safety drill bit which allows me to get really really close to the cuticles I still switched out and I'm using the ball bit because her cuticles are so there I don't I don't know what she does with her cuticles I don't know what she does with them they're so like hard and she just doesn't care for them let's just say that (laughs) they need a little TLC they need a little love so I'm using the ball bit and I'm just like really giving her cuticles some love (laughs) just standing them down just smoothing them out so this is optional but if you have a client with problem cuticle areas (laughs) do not neglect the ball bit okay (laughs) so now the filing is done I hope you guys enjoyed watching me file her nails I don't know I think that it's a treat so I hope you guys also think that it's a treat and now it's time for the shimmer and shine (laughs) you guys Who doesn't love a little shimmer and a little shine? So I'm using the Beatles bling gel. So remember when I did the Beatles unboxing and this popped out of the box and I was like, ah, I'm so excited. So I couldn't wait to use it. So I'm using it today. Somebody in the comments said that this, actually a few of you guys said that you tried the bling gel and it was really good. So I couldn't wait to try it. I couldn't wait to try it. So today is that day. So I will apply the bling gel just like I would any other bling gel. And then when she comes back for a fill, we'll evaluate. Hopefully there's no stones missing, Beatles. You know, this is an experiment. Hopefully no stones missing. I've never used their bling gel before, but it feels normal in the tube, like squeezing it out. I mean, it has a nice convenient applicator, so I like it so far. But if it doesn't work or keep the stones on for as long as her set needs it, uh, you're going to have to get a thumbs down from me. So <laughs> this is an experiment. Come back, you guys. Come back in a couple weeks when she's here for her fill and we shall evaluate the status of this Beatles bling gel. Okay. All right, you guys. So here's another little tip. Whenever you apply your bling, especially if you do a lot or if they're big stones, By the time you add the bling on and the client walks her little happy hands over to the oven so that she could bake 
bake, bake. Some of those stones slip out. Oh my gosh, that is like a pet peeve of mine. You take so long and you're so meticulous placing the bling. They put the hand in the lamp and somehow between you and the lamp, the bling is like way to the left or way to the right. And it's just not how you envision it. I hate that. So what I started doing was flash curing it, flash curing it in place before I even let her move her hand out of my sight. Okay. And that just takes about 10 seconds, but oh my gosh, it really just makes you feel better in the end. <laughs> so you guys saw, I just did a quick flash cure so that I could move on and I know the stones are not going anywhere. Now I'm adding chrome powder, you guys. Do you guys know how to add chrome? So in order for your chrome powder to slide on the nail and just look so gorgeous, <laughs> you have to use a no wipe top coat. So any no wipe top coat will work, right? And the trick is you can't cure it for more than 20 seconds. So I like to cure it for about 15. Like that's my golden number for chrome powder, but definitely no more than 20 seconds. For some reason, you guys, when you do a full cure on the top coat, the chrome powder does not slide. It does not glide. <laughs> it just does not work out right. <laughs> so if you're having a problem with chrome, just try to cure it for less. And uh, yeah, let me know how it works for you. I actually got that tip from you guys. Some of you guys saw me struggling <laughs> with my chrome powder and you told me the problem. And ever since then, you guys, ever since then, I've been doing it and I have not had any issues. So thank you for that. So, okay, now I'm going in with a little bit more bling. We are really put in doubling gel to the test you guys <laughs> she's going to have four fingers with bling so two on the left hand two on the right hand so when she comes back we'll know we'll know if this beetles if this beetles thing is good <laughs> but yeah honestly i think it's gonna be fine i really do i have faith in beetles i actually like them a lot and i do have a coupon code if you guys are interested in beetles and i might as well say the pottle first of all congrats to my two winners for my last giveaway, my last pottle giveaway. Congrats to you guys. But I do have a coupon code for the pottle lamp. Uh, what else? The chrome powder that I'm using is from Sparkling Co. Love, love, love Sparkling Co. I have a haul video for you guys from Sparkling Co. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so the chrome powder is from Sparkling Co. And I do have a coupon code for them as well. What else? Um, the bling. I get most of my bling from Amazon, you guys. Sometimes AliExpress, but mostly Amazon because I like the quality and it comes really, really quick. All right, so now I am just applying the cuticle oil. The cuticle oil, you guys, is a very important step that a lot of people skip. And I do not know why you guys skip the cuticle oil, but you just beat up them cuticles. You push them back. You scuff them up. You know what I mean? You probably got a little primer on it. All of that. So make sure you nourish these cuticles. And this woman needs all the cuticle nourishment that she could get. No shade. I love you, girl. I love you. But you know them cuticles need help, girl. So I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. <laughs> All right, look at her. She got to take the ring off. Stop it. Stop it, legs. Stop it, legs. <laughs> All right, so here is the hand massage part. And I actually love doing like hand massages and sometimes feet, just depending on what mood I'm in. But I like doing hand massages because it allows me to feel the person's energy and it allows me to let them feel my energy. I don't know if you guys do that or if you know what I'm talking about, but if you know how to feel someone else's energy, if it's a good energy, it feels really, really nice. Like it just feels nice. So then you let them feel your good energy and it allows both of you guys to relax. So even though you're massaging her, so she's relaxing, I'm feeling that relaxed energy. So now I'm relaxing, even though I'm doing the massage. Does that make sense? Am I a weirdo? That's okay. I know I'm a weirdo. I don't mind. I actually like it. It's cool. So this is the finished look. You guys, I'm in love. I freaking love. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What? This has like a little Easter vibe. So if you guys are into Easter, here's a nice look you guys can copy. You know, I love all the colors. So links to everything will be in the description box i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and all that all that love you guys bye